Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Morgan, and uh, today I'm going to be playing Sonic the Hedgehog, released for the Sega Mega Drive in 1991. Now, um, the reason why I'm playing this game for you guys in particular is because, um, well, I just thought with the release of Sonic Mania back in August, which uh, is supposed to be the like throwback of sorts to the classics, like the classic Sonic games. I thought that we'd, um, you know, look at Sonic's roots, see what made him great in the first place. And, um, another reason is that I love Sonic the Hedgehog. It's like my favorite video game franchise of all time. And, um, yeah, this game is my favorite video game of all time. Like, Sonic 1, we're gonna call. Uh, <laughs> couple of things I should uh, say right off the bat. This is unscripted, like, as you could probably tell. So, um, what you're seeing is my raw reaction to basically everything that's happening on screen. So, um, you know, it's not going to be the best commentary in the world. But, you know, I'm going to roll with it. And this is my first, like, let's play of sorts so I'm quite nervous but if you guys do enjoy the video uh, feel free to let me know and um, if there are things that you don't like or if you think the video is just trash then say so as well so um, I know what to improve on but uh, yeah without further ado I guess I should just like talk about the game now, uh, I don't know if I should, like, explain the game mechanics, because at its core, Sonic the Hedgehog isn't, like, that difficult to understand. But, you know, I'm gonna do it anyway, because, like, you know, I'm, I, it's probably not, like, far-fetched to assume that, like, not everybody has played Sonic the Hedgehog. But, um, anyway, obviously... You run around stages collecting rings. Now, uh, the rings act as your sort of like health in the game. And uh, as long as you have one ring, you can take a hit from an enemy. So, um, yeah, if you have one ring and you keep getting hit, you don't die. You just get knocked back and the rings, uh, well, the rings you have are like scattered everywhere. But, um, you can always pick them back up, which sort of makes Sonic the Hedgehog, like, it's probably one of the elements that makes Sonic unique. You know, obviously, apart from his speed. And, um, yeah, there are, like, um, you know, these TV monitors you can destroy, which, you know, can net you extra rings, a shield, all that stuff. If you do have 50 rings at the end of a stage, you can enter the special stage, which, uh, it will be this, like, giant ring you jump into. If you collect 100 rings, you get an extra life. Um, yeah, uh, wait, what else? If you destroy, like... They're called badniks in the game. They're like these uh, robots. The reason why they're called badniks is because of uh, the main villain, Doctor Robotnik, who, um, well, his real name isn't really Doctor Robotnik. It's actually Eggman in the original, uh, like Japanese version. But you know, Robotnik. Am I right? Am I right? But, um, you know, um, yeah, there's not much else I can say. Points in this game, <laughs> they don't really matter too much. Like, obviously I've got 98,000. But, oh, nearly died there. <laughs> I got so, like, <laughs> I was about to, like, throw my laptop away in rage 
But um, yeah, if you collect 50,000 points, that can get you an extra life. Uh, you, you see these things, which are like checkup, checker, the checkpoints. And um, if you pass one of these and you die during a level, you'll restart from that checkpoint, which is, um, you know, it's nice. If you're like, um, you know, maybe not so good at the Sonic games. Because some stages are quite long. Like, right now we're playing Marble Zone, which, um, compared to Green Hill, which was the first zone we, uh, you know, d the first zone we beat. Yeah, um, <laughs> the woes of unscripted commentary. Marble, Marble Zone is probably one of the longer levels in the game. Which, um, a lot of people probably, oh god, a lot of people will probably, like, not appreciate because Sonic is, well, you think that he's supposed to go fast, right? Oh my god, come on! <laughs> this one always gets me, this special stage always gets me. Um... It's got a lot more platforming, but, you know, I don't mind a bit of platforming in Sonic. Like, I think it's fun when the games don't, like, hold your hand. Oh my god. <laughs> like, I think it's fun when a game, like, uh, you know, doesn't hold your hand. And, like, you know, when you do beat it, it just feels so rewarding. Oh my gosh. Honestly, out of all the special stages, this is the one I hate the most. But, um, yeah. I'm just saying, like, the slower stages, I don't mind, honestly, because, like, you know, they're a good challenge. But, um, yeah, speaking of special stages, there are six of these, because, um, in the game, there are six Chaos Emeralds to collect. The Chaos Emeralds being these, like, uh, you know, glowing gems of uh, several varieties. Some call me Johnny, I think, refers to them as, uh, what, like, what are they, gumdrops? Or, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, Different colored gumdrops or something. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, um. Obviously, the special stages are these, like, rotating mazes that you traverse through to collect the Chaos Emeralds. And when you have all Chaos Emeralds, you're guaranteed the good ending of the game, which, uh,. You know, if I wasn't playing this game for you guys, like, I wouldn't get, because, like, there's no difference. But, because, just for completion's sake, I'm gonna go and get all the Chaos Emeralds for you guys. Like, the special stages, apart from the third one, they're not that hard. And, like, honestly, I do quite like them. So yeah. Um, what are the Chaos Emeralds, or what do they do? I've already explained what they are. The Chaos Emeralds do something. Not in this game, though. Like, but yeah, we shall find out. Let's just assume that, um, they make you rich. <laughs> they guarantee you marriage and success in life. Um, yeah.
now we're on to our fourth special stage and we've pretty much well we're probably like a third through the game like sonic <laughs> this game is like not long at all i think we're gonna beat it in about an hour maybe Did I talk about Robotnik? Or like Dr. Egg? Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, um, that says goal, but um, it's not goal. The special stages have these bumpers, which are super freaking annoying. And um, yeah, to get the Chaos Emeralds, you like chip away at these um, like stones. And um, there are other things as well, like um, these things that say R, those like rotate the special stage, like the way it's spinning, and um, there are these other like circle things that say up and down, which increase or decrease the speed of the rotation, so uh, yeah. Eggman, or as he's known in uh, North America, Dr. Robotnik is the main villain of this game. And um, yeah, for reasons unbeknownst to us, well, if you haven't read the manual, that is, <laughs> he wants to like turn all the animals into robots and, uh, you know, hoard all the chaos emeralds but we're not gonna let him because you know we're sonic the hedgehog we don't stand for such tomfoolery <laughs> but um yeah um he's pretty much the main villain of the sonic series there is a sh there is a uh, secret here extra life And yeah, um, Clement J64 is um, a YouTuber of mine who I actually really enjoy. He's probably one of my favorite YouTubers. He loves Dr. Eggman. Like, Dr. Eggman is his favorite, um, like, video game villain. Um, as for me, like, I do like Dr. Eggman. Uh, I mean, you know, obviously he's kind of... I don't know, the bosses, like, are always easy to beat, in my opinion. Apart from, like, freaking... Oh uh, gosh, what was it? Oh, uh, you're gonna... It's gonna come up. It's gonna come up. But, um, yeah. Alright, we've just beat Marble Zone. Marble Zone being the second zone in the game. Obviously, you know, I have to explain things because that's what a terrible Let's Player does. <laughs> Even if you can see clearly. But, uh, yeah. Spring Yard Zone. Like, more fast paced level. I quite like the Spring Yard Zone, especially when uh, you collect the speed shoes at the beginning. You can do the skip, but um, if I went down there, like these rolling things would basically pwn me. So yeah. Um, gosh, <laughs> yeah, like I said, awkward pauses, like, I just really, I don't know, like, I just get into the game, to be honest, 
Like that's that's why that's partly why I'm so silent at points. Oof, pro strats. Like um, I don't know. When I play this game, I just get really into it. Like, you know, I wanna like you know show off even if nobody's looking. And uh, yeah, this is our fifth special stage. I guess the one thing I do like about these ones in particular is that, you know, if you're sort of, uh, wait, oh, okay, that's, I think we go here, oh, no, 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 that is not the goal, that is not the goal, oh, <laughs> Man, if I weren't there, I would have been so mad at myself. But, um... I do like the fact that these special stages are short. Like, most of them take about a minute to beat. So they've got that going for them. Right. I think... We go here. Yep. Easy. Easy. We don't need cheat codes. Cheat codes. I miss those. But yeah, that's the fifth emerald acquired. We've already collected, like, pretty much all the Chaos Emeralds by, like, the third zone in the game, which is crazy. But, um, you know. I'm a pro. I quite like Spring Yard Zone, actually, especially the music. It's so, like, whimsical. But, like, there are, there's this enemy in the game. Or, well, it's in the game, but... In this zone that, like, really, really, like, annoys me. You'll probably see it. Oh. Yay. Being bumped around by bumpers. <laughs> that was the most unenthusiastic, like, comment I have ever made. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you'll see it. Wait. Where is it? Yep, there it is. Like, if you're going really fast, with no shield, these things are, like, kryptonite. They're... They will make you so mad. Like, I remember so many times when, like, you know, I'd be trying to, like, do a speed run, and these things just knock me to oblivion. They are the worst enemy in the game, in my opinion. But yeah, now we're already on to our, like, <laughs> I guess, last special stage. Right. Okay, can I do this? There we go. Alright. Yeah, there's like nothing to say about this one. Like, they just give you the emerald. They're like, okay. You've, uh. No! Oh! Why? Oh. I had it! Oh my god, dude. What the hell? Oh, man. That's it. On an oh. Just to add insult to injury. Yeah. Just, uh... <laughs> oh, man. Oh, boy. Not feeling too good right now. Not gonna lie. <laughs> 
That's like the easiest special stage you could like screw up and I screwed it up. Oh man. Just freaking uninstall. Like uh, game over in my opinion. Reset. Nah but uh, we're gonna roll with it guys. It happens, you know, we make mistakes. But yeah. <laughs> oh man, I'm so I'm so upset right now. But uh <laughs> you know, let's not let that get to us. Um yeah, now we're on to Spring Yard Zone Act 3. Spring Yard Zone is probably like the easiest well apart from Green Hill, which like is literally hold right. It's probably the easiest like uh zone. Like like a liggity like. Right. Oh, little piggies. Piglets, baby pigs. <laughs> yeah, these things, uh, you want to like take your time with them. Oh, I'm kicking myself <laughs> right now. Like, you guys don't even understand. Right. God damn it, so slow. Right. Oh, that part scares me every time. Even though, like, I never die from it. Right. Okay, we're good. Oh, I, I forgot to mention that Sonic can, like, look up and uh, crouch to sort of like pan the camera useful if you want to like see what's above or below you but yeah now we're on to our third boss and um yeah just easy obviously he's like trying to make us fall to our death by removing those uh platforms but you know easy 1v1 me, win every time. <laughs> but that's our third zone done. And now we're in Labyrinth, which, um... It's probably the most controversial level in this game, because, um... You know, a lot of people don't like it. And, um, it is understandable why, like... You know, obviously you've got the water, which makes everything super slow, plus the threat of drowning. Like, Sonic, actually one of his uh, flaws is that he can't swim, because, um, I don't know, can hedgehogs swim? I don't know, but, um, yeah, that's like one thing they make a big deal out of in the series. So, um, yeah, we gotta collect these air bubbles. And, like, there are a lot of hazards. Like, these, like, uh, root. Wait. These spiked chains. Or whatever you wanna call them. But, um, you know, I don't think it's that hard of a stage, to be honest. Or like zone, I keep alternating between like calling them like zone stages and levels. But um, yeah, Labyrinth is my favorite zone in the game, guys. Right, oh, am I even going the right way? No, I'm not. Wait. Oh wait, no, I am. Just 
take our time. Don't want to get like pronged by that thingy bob. Oh yeah, this is just like the best music ever. But not to worry because we're above water. Um, yeah, obviously another like way Sonic can die is by drowning. So although you can like take as many hits from an enemy, you can die from like being crushed by, you know, something and by obviously falling to your death or drowning. So yeah. We probably won't get to kill some road in this act. If we do, I'll be super hype. Ooh, crouch into uh, like I don't know, cure depression. But yeah, that's Labyrinth Zone Act One. It's got lots and lots of platforming and water because it's a labyrinth, a maze. Right. Okay. Oh, ouch. That's not fair. It's mean. I don't like you. We'll just collect this air bubble to be safe. This is like... I just like the music in this stage. It just sounds so, like, peaceful. You know? Tranquility. Oh man, I hope I'm recording, <laughs> I'm gonna check. Right, am I recording? Yeah, I am. Oh man, I'm not gonna lie, if, like there are times when um, I thought I've recorded and like I got it perfect, but I never actually hit the record button. And uh, yeah, that infuriates me. I'm not gonna edit it out because, you know, like who cares about production value, right? Get out of here with that. Slick edits. Oof. All right, oh God, no. I hate this part. Oh God, no. Oh, so close. You can actually die so many times at that part. Just from either trying to avoid getting hit. Alright, we'll just crouch here. Alright. Obviously, you can hear a like dinning sound. That's sort of like to warn you that, um, you know, Sonic's air is decreasing. Fun fact, if you actually like do a spin while uh, you pass this like um, end goalpost, you can like crash the game. Alright, no room for failure this time. Right, come on! Oh, jeez. Of all the special stages to screw up, I screw up the easiest one. And there we go, guys! We got the Chaos Emerald! Sonic got them all! All our gob drops. We are fed. And now we're guaranteed the good ending. So we don't have to worry about those. Now uh, this part you can actually grab a shield there, uh, real tip, 
And um, yeah, if you don't jump at the right time, Sonic will just like fall like indefinitely. So uh, yeah, I, I I do believe that got me as a kid. Like I'd be I'd be at that like, <laughs> oh man, I remember, I'd be there for about um like five minutes before I realized. I had to jump at the, like the exact time. Ooh. We just got hit by those spikes, but it doesn't it doesn't like decrease our speed or velocity. <laughs> oh god, this is like the most annoying place to put. Switch. Now, um, there are some things that I'd say, but like, yeah, I'm gonna like, I don't know, I'm gonna treat the games as like, you know, like a surprise, you know, like, I'm not gonna spoil anything. I'm gonna go through them together. You know, as as we were new, as if we were like noobs, you know. All right. I do believe we are at the. <clears throat> I do believe we are at the, like nearing the end. Yep. Yeah, this is the worst boss in the game, guys. Not even, but yeah, these like things. <clears throat> so basically, what you're trying to do is like get to the top without getting hit, or uh, you know, drowning. Like you don't actually have to like hit Eggman. I just made it look super easy, but like you can die like a lot there. So Auto Labyrinth is my favorite zone, it has the worst boss in the game. But anyway guys, that's uh, Labyrinth Zone beaten. And now we're on to Starlight Zone. I was about to say Spring Yard, but you know. I caught myself. I love Spring- I love- See, I was about to say it again. I love Starlight Zone, man. It's just so like fun to play through. Like it's the f it's got like the speed. Like hold on. Right. We're gonna catch. We're gonna get to it. Oh wait. Oh, is that? Oh okay. I, for some reason, I thought that would, uh, you know. Take us through the stage. And I'm taking so long to uh, say that. Like, you see those, like, little bursts of speed? Where you're, like, rolling, f rolling, like, through the loops and stuff? That stuff is so satisfying. Like, I think the one thing they got right in this game, the, like, nervous Sonic game, to me, has been able to replicate is, like, this... Just a, like, satisfying, uh... Like, to me, like, the speed is, like, satisfying when you earn it. You know, like... If you're doing really good, like, platforming, and, like, you're skilled, and then, like, you get a big burst of speed, like, that to me is, like, way more satisfying than just, like, you know, being propelled by a spring. Propelled. Yeah, my English is weird. See, like that, I just, I love it. And this. Starlight Zone is just, like, amazing. It's got, like, great music. 
the the actual uh, soundtrack to this game, like, still holds up as well. Like, you've got some. Well, oh my god, that scared the crap out of me. Like the music in this game as well, like, I quite love. Like, when I compare it to, you know, other games in the Sonic series, you know, it's, it's, it's probably not like, ouch, it's probably not the best, but like, it's still really damn good, especially like, um, you know, Spring Yard Zone, which is like, really catchy. And Starlight, those are like probably my two favorite um, music pieces. Right. I do believe we are on Spring Yard Zone Act 3. <laughs> I, 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 I just sort of like zoned out there. Oh no, don't want to get hit by that. Freaking bombs. Yes. There we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Honestly, if my microphone picks up like my stomach growling, I'm gonna be really embarrassed. Cause like I have not eaten at the time of this recording, guys. I know, unprepared, dislike. You know, um, if you guys do, if you guys have played Sonic the Hedgehog, like, you know. <clears throat> Feel free to let me know, like, what are some of your favorite parts of this game, like your memories with Sonic. Because uh, at the time of this recording, like, the series is over 26 years old. And, uh, yeah. I just grown up, like. Sonic just, like. Like, as, as cheesy as it sounds, it changed my life, and like, it changed the way I see games. Alright, okay. Boom. I, I do remember having the original Mega Drive, and like, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2 are like the games I play, like, on repeat. Non stop, but yeah, that's pretty much Starlight Zone. At this point, we've got all the Chaos Emeralds, so like, there's no, there's not much point in like, you know, trying to show off. But anyway, guys, this is a uh, scrapyard. Wait, scrapyard. Scrap brain zone. Now here, like fun fact, there's a skip you can do. Like if you were to press down, you'd go inside that wall, and like you could clear basically like half the stage without playing it. But you know, I'm not gonna do that because. Uh, no glitches allowed. Alright. I've died so many times. Oh, Jesus Christ. That scared the hell out of me. Yeah, you see, like... I don't know. Like, I, I always get hit by that, like, one flame. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know why, maybe it's, maybe it has, like, to do with the timing. But I've just, I've never, like, gone through that part without getting hit. And these parts, well, apart from just now, because 
I want to show off. We are just contradicting ourselves. Well, I'm. Ugh! <laughs> I'm fumbling over my own words. But that's okay. Right. Let's do this. Scrapyard zone is, um. The last zone in the game, guys. Um, to be honest, like, it's not that difficult. Uh, like, I mean, apart from maybe, like, some parts where, like, you've got those uh, things that can crush you if you're not careful. But, like, scrap. Scrap brain zone. Oh, that was. If I've been calling it like scrapyard, I don't know. Like, I feel really dumb. Basically, it's like early in the morning, so. You know, I'm trying to like crank out this playthrough. Because, um, guys, I'll be honest, like, I've tried to do this, like, over 30 times. But, like, you know, life got in the way. And, like, actually, I had this completed at one point, but, um, my hard drive failed, so I could never, like... Because, basically, I planned to do this, like, um, you know, pre commentary instead of post like I'm doing now but um yeah the footage I had which by the way was a perfect game no deaths no hits so yeah not too happy about losing that um yeah my hard drive which you know it was a crappy, like, old one. So, yeah. That actually failed. So I lost the footage, and, you know, I ordered a cheap, like, mechanical hard drive from, like, CEX. It cost me, like, £18. Like, if you're ever looking for, like, old computer stuff, CEX is probably, like, the best place to get it. Like, they've got graphics cards and everything. It's amazing. But anyway, um, my point is, like, I've attempted to do this playthrough, like, so many times. So it's like, yeah. Falling deeper into the rabbit hole. Every time I run into it like a fool. But you live and learn. Live and learn. Haha. <laughs> That's a Sonic joke reference. Oh gosh, look at him. He's just laughing. He doesn't care. And now we're on to scrap. Wait. What? Oh, um, feigning surprise, because I've seen this a million times, uh, yeah, no, um, <clears throat> we are in Scrap Rain Zone Act 3, but, like, it's Labyrinth, uh, yeah, <laughs> and, um, this is probably, like, the hardest uh, stage in the game because um you don't have that many air bubbles and like there are a lot of um spikes and stuff to avoid like here i always i i to be honest i always thought that was like the worst place to put spikes but yeah i just made it really easy 
it's like shortcuts and stuff. But anyway, this is the final zone. Final boss. Oh. Man, I remember when I was a kid, like, getting to this would be so rewarding. It'd be like, all my hard work has paid off. All those rings collected. Like, <laughs> all those, like, bad nicks destroyed. It, it all paid off. He's in these containers and, like, we have to sort of, like, time it, right? You don't get any rings, by the way, so, um, yeah, if you, if you, like, die from here, you know, you just have to hope you don't get hit by these. But honestly, they're not that hard to, like, avoid. Like, you sort of, like, go to the ones with the, like, biggest gap, and then, yeah, make light work of Eggman. Ooh. Suck it! And now we're running through Green Hill Zone with our... You know, animals. And we got all the Chaos Emeralds. And they do stuff. Yeah boy, that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Um... Yeah guys, uh... <laughs> I... We're at the credits now, like, we've beaten the game, and I just, you know, like, I don't know, man, I just, I love this game, like, there's, there's so much I can talk about, like, you know, it's got great graphics, you know, it's got, like, the perfect, like, controls, you know, perfect, like, movement mechanics and stuff. It's just so fluid. It's got a great soundtrack. I like the speed. It's so it feels satisfying, you know? And like when we when I do get into like later games, um, you know, there'll be a lot more to talk about, but um yeah, you know. Sonic the Hedgehog is like a classic game. And, uh, I'm glad to have recorded it for you guys. Um, yeah. I guess, to be I, I won't end it here. Like, I will show off some stuff at the end. You know, just for, like, laws. just showing us the various stages and it's got just like medley of uh you know all the like music pieces in the game presented by sega and uh yeah that's um well that's the good ending pretty much it's um well it's Eggman stomping on this end logo thing and Sonic doing the thing with the Chaos Emeralds. Normally if you like didn't collect the Chaos Emeralds, it'd have Eggman sort of like juggling them about laughing. And like Sonic would do this like confused look. But yeah, that's Sonic the Hedgehog. Uh for those I'll just show off some like secrets. At the title screen, if you press up, down, left, right, and then hear the ring sound, you- Oh, okay. Wait, what? So yeah, if you press up, down, left, right, hold A, and press start, you can access the uh, level select, which allows you to, you know, pick a stage of your liking. You can go to the special stage, which if you beat it, it'll just take you to Green Hill Zone. And you can also start from the final boss. 
you've got the sound test as well which lets you listen to all the music and uh, you know sound effects so yeah anyway um another secret I guess is um well secret but um if you press up C, down C, left C, right C, and then hold A and press start, you get this like weird, um, I guess it's sort of like data that shows the position of Sonic. And if you press B, you can like sort of place in it, you can place objects. So yeah, if you want to like, get a million rings, you can do that. Like you can place enemies. Spikes. And uh, Sonic can't die during this mode either, so... Yeah. Yeah. We'll just play some springs. I don't know, like, when I was a kid, like, I'd spend a lot of time after I got bored with just, like, playing. Just to, like, sort of, uh, you know, mess around. But anyway guys, um, that's, um, that's Sonic the Hedgehog, uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, um, feel free to let me know down in the comments or with a react, and, um, yeah, if you didn't like it, obviously you can react as well, and you can let me know what I could improve. So, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it. I will see you guys in the next one.